I'm gonna ask you some medical They're gonna questions. do a breathalyzer there. Yeah. You're and they're gonna take the weight and there's palms behind the yeah. waivers. Please Have you had any drug or alcohol use this evening? And this is one of the one or of the biggest I could be pregnant. Do you currently have any knee, hip, back, neck pain, injury, uh, chronic okay. diseases, heart diseases, circulation issues, chronic breathing conditions, difficulty with motion sickness, difficulty with close contact from strangers, there's an attainable system in getting in and out of the cradle while blindfolded. We were standing in line, we were just sort of anxious and excited about it, and then when we got through, it sort of became a bit more, oh, we've got to do a breathalyzer and take our weight, and it seemed a bit more serious, and that was kind of, it made it all the more intriguing, because you're like, what am I in for? It, was, it seemed like the security was like more than like the airport, like you were doing this, another step, another checklist of this, and then the metal detector is like, empty your pockets and do this, and then my Kleenex was going off in the metal detector. And then we just had to wait. When it first started, I was sitting in the chair with my blindfold on, my ear placed in, and it felt forever. Like I thought, oh, I'm never going to get into this little thing. And so you go into this capsule, and it raised you, and it was really weird because it was the way it was raised would have sort of been the way that I felt that if you were an, an exiled witch or someone thought you were a witch at that time, would have felt like as if they were like raising you on like a log or other types of people in the world who have been persecuted. So it was a very, just that weight of being pulled up was kind of an emotional weight. And then also just being, sitting inside, knowing that there are, have been many people on this planet who've experienced that sort of trauma. All of a sudden I just have more of a sensitivity to the idea of persecution and segregation and things like that. Because you really get put into the other person's position. You can think about it, but then you're, physically put into it and then you're thinking about it, it adds another level to it. So I found it very symbolic that we have a richest cradle hanging from the ceiling of I think it's Commerce Court, sort of the center of capitalism. You know the symbolism wasn't lost on me as I'm sort of pondering going in it. So I was very aware of that as I'm going in intellectually. However, when you get into the actual um, cradle itself, it's a very uh, different kind of experience. It was really beautiful, it was really gentle, it was nice. It wasn't any of the things that I was thinking about before I went into it. When I first got in, I was like, this was cooler than going skydiving, is what I first thought. I kept envisioning things from a different perspective, like spatially, like, okay, what if I'm upside down? And what if I'm actually on the ground, but the ground is moving? Swirling around. Swinging. Flying. Like losing sense of gravity. Isolation. And I was like bouncing and bouncing and then flying and then I was felt like I was going underwater or something. Fish and water. Yeah, very fluid. I just felt I was like flying in the air or something. I was just like not attached to anything and then finally I you know landed and then touched the ground. I felt a little more unsettled as soon as I was on the ground than I was in the air because it was comfortable and um, you felt very supported and then when you were on the ground I had to sort of brace myself against falling one way or another so it's a bit of a strange like you would expect to be more unsettled hanging in midair, but in reality you were sort of a little shaky on solid ground.
Yeah, no, I was good. No, we were watching the... Uh, it's like I didn't feel like I was moving until they touched me and skated me. Because I wasn't all, like, I wasn't rocking too much, right? But it was rocking? Because I didn't feel that at all. But I felt it like, like I was... If you don't experience it, you, you can't, you can't know how it's like. Even you, you know, heard what it's like from your friends or from people who experienced. You, you just can tell once you experience. It's almost like traveling in a way that is good for us. We're so busy trying to figure out what our points of reference are that we often don't really look around us to some of the other experiences that we have in our world. And for me, this is part of doing this. I like the way that it uh, introduces magic in like an understandable way. Like it allows you to like experience something magical. I think in that way it was really successful.